shock report, top Virginia paper just issued death sentence for Democrats, liberals want this buried. There's been a tectonic shift in the Virginia gubernatorial election, and it's not the Democrats right off their feet. The Virginia election has been called by the mainstream media as a possible referendum on the 2016 presidential election, whoever seizes the governor's seat in the coming days could be an omen for the political direction the rest of the country will take. The Democrats in Virginia, crowned by Ralph Northam, have recently boasted of their superior funding and made up polls indicating that victory for them is inevitable. The era of Trump, they claim, was just a surprising bump in the road and will soon pass. But if you look past the official liberal reports, it's obvious that the Democrats are failing to plug up a pumping arterial wound. They're bleeding to death, and the rest of America smells blood in the water. If the Democrats are so assured of their victory, there's no way they would be insanely pumping out propaganda to brand Republican candidate Ed Gillespie as a racist, neo-Nazi, white supremacist sympathizer even though that's the complete opposite of the truth. S-H-H-H. Hear that? That's the sound liberals makes when they're about to lose. Thus reports Town Hall, commenting on two top Virginia newspapers just called out the Democrats' dirty tricks. On Friday, the Richmond Times-Dispatch editorial board stuck Northam's campaign on the spick and roasted them alive for suggesting absurdly that Gillespie somehow supports Y supremacy. They. The Democrats, have distributed a mailer of their own, seeking to tie Republican gubernatorial nominee Ed Gillespie to the white nationalists who rampaged through Charlottesville in August. That isn't merely a reach. It's practically libel. Gillespie has repeatedly and passionately condemned white supremacists and other creatures that have crawled out from under the alt-right rock. Linking him to them requires the following absurd logic. One. Donald Trump said some stupid things about Charlottesville. 2. Trump is a Republican. 3. Gillespie is a Republican. 4. Therefore, Gillespie supports racial hate. That makes no more sense than this. 1. Some Democrats have defended the violent street thugs of Antifa. 2. Ralph Northam is a Democrat. 3. Therefore, Ralph Northam supports violent street thuggery. Ouch! better grab some ice for poor Northam, that burn's going to leave a mark. Then the Roanoke Times chimed in, with such a brilliant, scathing comeback against the crooked Northam campaign, it's impossible to paraphrase. In the aftermath of Charlottesville, almost every Virginia politician of note, Republican Senate hopeful Corey Stewart accepted, said exactly what you would think they'd say, white supremacy is an evil that must be condemned in the harshest terms. Gillespie's strongly worded response stands in marked contrast to that of President Trump, who dithered for three days before he could manage to read those words, and then later backtracked to blame both sides. When a Republican president finds it difficult to call Nazis marching in the street a bad thing, that would seem to hurt all Republicans everywhere. Gillespie hasn't called out Trump, as Democrats want him to do, but he has certainly condemned the marchers at every opportunity. In one statement, Gillespie called them a torch-carrying, shield-bearing white supremacist and neo-Nazi mob that essentially invaded Virginia. Gillespie, indeed, all Republicans, are in a bind as far as Trump is concerned, but otherwise Gillespie himself has said and done exactly the right things here. Vote against Gillespie because of his views on tax policy, if you want, but don't vote against him because of anything related to Charlottesville. He and Northam are on the same side here. This bombshell is especially amazing, considering the size of these newspapers, and the fact that most Virginia papers right now have been taken over by the Democrats. Even the Democrats' most powerful ally is suddenly betraying them. Face it, Dems, you're finished. Trump has come and he's here to stay. The grassroots patriot movement is never going away. Virginia's governor election is going to be a total death sentence for the Democrats. What the Democrats have done to the Gillespie campaign is not just sick and underhanded, it's liable and needs to be punished by the law. This is the perfect opportunity for Gillespie to unleash a brilliant counterattack, take the entire liberal brood to court and sue them out of business.
but we are confident Mr. Gillespie will have many more important issues to address than a case of mere electoral slander after he's taken the Virginia office. office.